The National Geographic Orion has made its first landing at St. Matthew Island. We are about 260 miles north of the Privilofs, out here in the remote Bering Sea. None of the staff have ever been here before, and we are like children running around scouting the landing. Nobody lives here on St. Matthew Island. Uh, bird researchers will come here, particularly looking for the endemic McKay's bunting. As well, we have a subspecies of rock sandpiper. This is an incredibly rare opportunity to come to an island very few people ever see. It's bound to be an incredible afternoon. So here we are on St. Matthew. This is the first time that we have landed here. We've seen McKay's buntings all over the place and the singing vole here and singing. I'm here with Lynn Blatt and National Geographic on St. Matthew's Island, which I have seen documentaries about but never thought I'd ever step foot on it. And it's just beautiful. I mean, nesting rock sandpipers, McKay's bunting, which I never thought I'd see, and voles, singing voles, and we even heard them singing. It's really, it's peaceful, it's quiet. You can't hear the outside world. And that's what I love the most about it. We have beautiful calm conditions, a little bit of atmospheric fog along the cliffs, and just wonderful tundra, and what a spectacular place. <laughs> 